From Hollywood, it's the, 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 the Tom Likas Show. Oh, God. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is. Not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. Everybody is sending me the story about Jamie Lynn Spears. Jamie Lynn Spears, 16. Preggers. By the way, she's got a series on Nickelodeon. Isn't that kind of a sister company to uh, to us? CBS? Viacom? I don't care. I'm talking about it anyway. I don't give a rat's ass. She's 16. She's on a kiddie show on Nickelodeon, and she's knocked up. And she's having the baby. If you ever wonder if the Spears family just appears to be a bunch of trailer trash, I think this pretty much answers every question you have. <laughs> How are they going to write this into the show? Are you kidding me? And uh, People Magazine on their website says the father-to-be is somebody named Casey Aldrich. It says he is believed to be 18 or 19, and Jamie Lynn Spears is 16. Now, I don't know in which state he knocked her up, but 16, is that the age of consent in Louisiana? Is it? It's not the age of consent in California, is it? She's 16. <laughs> oh, yeah. Isn't that great? So you got Britney Spears, who's clearly out of control, okay? The drugs, the drinking, the kids on her lap as she's driving the car, whatever. The divorce from my hero, Kevin Federline. And so, uh, Britney, while you weren't paying attention, who were you influencing there? Your little sister. Your little sister. The mom-to-be, 16 years old. Isn't that nice? And a good lesson, too, for all the kids watching Nickelodeon. That's great. Hey, kids. <laughs> now, may I ask a question of our sister company? Nickelodeon is a children's network. Just a question, okay? It's a children's network. It's aimed at kids, and I imagine parents who like to have the TV babysit their kids. Uh, are you going to let her continue to do a show after she's gotten knocked up, went public with it? Are you going to let her continue to do the show? I mean, is that really what you want the kids to see? Because let's just put it this way, okay? At that point, you've pretty much accepted that 16 is an adult You've pretty much accepted it. If you're going to have a 16-year-old girl doing a show for kids and she's getting knocked up and People Magazine is gushing about it, <laughs> you've pretty much accepted the idea that six, it's 16, this is okay. I mean, my God, in this country, for a long time, you were 25 and you got knocked up and you were not married. It was not okay. Now yeah, we've accepted it with anybody over 18, and here we go. Now here's somebody who's 16, and it's okay. 
Holy cow. And how are they going to pay for this baby? Here's a guy who's 18, 19 years old, according to uh, People magazine. Grew up in Liberty, Mississippi. Played high school baseball and football. He comes to L.A. and stays at the Spears condo with Jamie Lynn's mother, Lynn, <laughs> while she's filming her Nickelodeon series, which is apparently called Zoe 101. Of course, we've all seen that, right, boys? I'm sure we have. Yes, and uh, this young man uh, drove uh, the mother of his child uh, up to Valencia, where they were shooting the show. Very nice. By the way, Jamie Lynn's mother is named Lynn. Do you know what Jamie Lynn's father's name is? Do you know what Jamie Lynn's father's name is? Yeah. yeah. Jamie. <laughs> Uh, but the whole trailer park was buzzing when that came up. Yeah, you know what they're calling her? Jamie Lynn, that's right. Unbelievable. I I don't even know what to say about this. You know, it, it, the, the fact that this is a big story in People magazine, I, I, I'm breathless. I just, I, I'm speechless, breathless. I just can't believe it. By the way, another story in People, uh, the, at least the People.com website. Brittany goes shopping after sister's pregnancy shocker. <laughs> oh, yes. Brittany now 25, 26 years old. Yes, her 16-year-old sister, 12 weeks pregnant. Isn't that nice? What do you even say about this? What do you even say about this? I Here's the thing. I don't have... What's the question? <laughs> I, as Larry Kate watches the question, I don't even know what the question is. What do you say about this? She's 16. She does a kitty show on Nickelodeon. She gets knocked up, and here's People Magazine. They're just drooling over this. Ooh, another bun in the oven. <laughs> That's the, one of the phrases they use to describe this on one of the stories in People. Another bun in the oven. A bun in the oven. She's 16. Is this a good thing? This good? I don't think it's good to you. What is your reaction to this? Britney Spears' 16-year-old sister is pregnant. And People Magazine just thinks it's fabulous. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. I just think this show is just disgusting today. The Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show at 1-800-5800-TOM. Jamie Lynn Spears. 16 and pregnant. When's the reality show coming? <laughs> Cat on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Yes. I can't believe I'm on the air with you. I, uh, I Neither have so can much I. respect for what you're doing. Thank you so much. First time caller, by the way, long time listener. Cool. Uh, I say the question should be since the father of this child is not properly married to the mother, and the mother is also under the age of legal consent, can we call the child a bastard? Of course. It is a bastard then, right? Well, it's a bastard because they're not married. They're not. Exactly. That's okay. Then, uh, you know, I want to see somebody in the media refer to that child as, call it what it is, a bastard. Bastard child, absolutely. We'll see how many parents after that want to continue to allow their children to, uh, Look up to these kids as role models. Well, one has to wonder how many parents are going to let their kid watch this show. Well, I don't know. See, I'm, I'm in the same camp as you. I don't have kids because I, I think if I were a father, I would take it a lot more seriously than most people do. I don't have the means or the time to do so right now, so I'm holding off. Good for you. I got a, uh, I got a, just a side, a side story. I got a brother who's dating this uh, single mom. You know, against my uh, my best wishes, but he's dating this girl. She's got a child, eight-year-old child, a son she adores, but she's not sure who the father is. 
whenever the family gets together, um, you know, I always ask my brother, hey, how's Cassie and the little bastard? And my mom absolutely goes off the handle, and she gets upset because I refer to my, my brother's girlfriend's illegitimate son as a bastard. He, and then we get in this big discussion. He is a that. bastard. What's that? He is a bastard. That's what I keep saying, and, and my father agrees with me, but my mother is like, you know, she just won't have it. <laughs> Jamie Lynn Spears is having a bastard child. That's I say that's what she's doing. She's having a bastard. Right. Anyways, Tom, I uh, I love what you're doing. I also think that since women, so many women hate what you're doing, that is a clear indication to me that you're doing you're doing something right. That's how you know I'm doing it right. Uh, you you got to know you're doing it right. It's like you're screwing up their game. They hate you for it. And uh, there's too many guys out there, and, and they're just, you know what? We need someone like you out there in the public because there's too many pussified men that just don't, you know, they don't have a father figure, and they don't know how to be a man. You are right about that, Ken. Donna on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Thanks for taking my call. My battery's running low, so I'll just get to it. I just wanted to call and say that um, uh, my daughter's watched that show. I've seen it. It's in the main room of our home where, where, where we have to see it. So, you know, in and out, I've seen it. I believe it's a young, young college life. And my girls are a little young for it, but I've been paying attention to it a little bit. But I don't think Nickelodeon should have her back based on this. I mean, they've got to watch their personal life a little bit when their shows cater to kids younger than them. Well, look at that uh, Vanessa Hudgens from High School Musical. I had to run across that. I absolutely had to run across that with my daughter, who absolutely loves that whole high school musical thing. And it's extremely frustrating as a parent because they like those type of shows. And, and the shows themselves are are fine in, in my eyes. Um, but it's the personal lives that, as a parent, I have to delve into. And it's extremely frustrating when I don't feel my kids are old enough to know the 100% truth. So we sugarcoat it a little because of their ages, and we'll get to it when they get there, but it's getting frustrating to where I hope Nickelodeon does not bring her back. I understand that they've wrapped for the year, so we'll have to just see what happens with her pregnancy and what they're going to do about it. I'll tell you what, Jamie Lynn Spears' boyfriend should have wrapped. Yeah, yeah, that, it, it's sad. No 16-year-old should be pregnant. It's absolutely a sad situation. By the way, did your daughter ask for a new cell phone after Vanessa Hudgens' uh, picture came out? Well, we're pretty strict. We don't allow any of that kind of stuff. But, um, no, she did want to know why she was naked, and I really didn't have much of an answer. I kind of fibbed a little and said maybe her friend took the picture and it was an accident. But just oh, yeah. she's young, she's only 12, and I just oh, don't I'll want to I'll bet, I'll, yet. I'll bet her friend took uh, the picture. His name is Steve. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you, Donna. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's Chris on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Chris? Oh, hey, Tom. You busy over there? No, 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 no. I didn't hear the show. I'm sorry. Um, all right. Here we go. Look, this, Can this, you hear this. it now? I, I, I got you now. This, uh, this Spears family has turned from an eyesore at the, the checkout stand at the grocery store to a waste of my oxygen. They, they are, this is terrible. I mean, it's like, first of all, this chick's career is... Over. Well, we don't know that. Well, I'll bet you. I'll bet you. There's a reality show in the works. Really? Are you kidding me? Especially with the writers on strike, I'd be shocked if one of the networks isn't trying to do a deal right now. That's pathetic. <laughs> that, that's 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 terrible. This is this. I mean, full full trailer trash to the max. It's, well. I mean, it, it, it seriously it almost leaves me speechless. The fact that People Magazine is so fascinated with this, they obviously know that their readers will be fascinated with it. Well, you know, and, and isn't that great, by the way, when your teenage girl sees all the fuss being made over Jamie Lynn Spears? What do you think she's going to want to do? Um, ruin her life, too. Uh, it's, a good, thing I, it's right. a good thing I don't have a teenage girl, though. Well, you're not kidding. Uh, I, I do. I do have a two-year-old son, um, and the the thing with that is, is that he every once in a while will stumble upon this this Zoe 101 show, and uh, I mean, I'm I'm putting the block on that show now. I mean, there's no way that that crap's going to be in my house anymore. I don't know. I cannot like that's like a cannot be promoted around there. Thank you, Chris. Yep. Appreciate the call, Scott, on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hi. Hey, I 
I have a 17 year old daughter, and pretty, you know, I'm pretty sure she's not doing all this stuff. But to me, this is funny as hell. And there's one thing I didn't hear anybody mention. Um, is everyone aware that the mom has a child rearing book in the works that has been put on hold? Yes, that's true. Lynn Spears was writing a book on how to raise children in the public, uh, in the limelight successfully or whatever. <laughs> yep. So you let's say you got one daughter who's uh, got alcohol and drug problems, and she's already been divorced twice, and the other daughter got knocked up at 16. What were you trying to tell us, Lynn? Hey, where's uh, Gloria Allred here to get the DA on this guy? Well, that's a good question. I mean, isn't this uh, statutory rape? And all, and my the age of consent in Louisiana is 17, not yeah. not 16. Well, they got to go after him. And now she'll be doing Playboy at 18 while well, a hustler. And uh, now I can say let's put her in the lineup with Lindsay, Paris, and Brittany on the rail and do them all from behind in one swoop. And blow, blow me up. Here you go, Scott. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. It's Dan on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello. Dan. Yes. Okay, I got a story to tell you now. Now, I'm I'm 27, but back in 1999, I uh, had a, a neighbor, and she was 17, and she had a friend that was 16. I was still in high school. I was just graduating, you know, that year. And, uh, you know, my birthday's in May, and I graduate in June. Anyway, I had sex with her and her friend. And it turns out her dad's a cop. And what happened to me is they charged me with statutory rape, but they gave me misdemeanor. Now, I didn't sir, they arrested me initially. And I'm, I remember, I'm 18 years old. They arrested me initially. I spent one night in jail. I got bailed out due to my family. And I got a lawyer, and they lowered it down to a misdemeanor, and I had to pay a $100 fine, and I didn't have to register as a sex offender. But later in life, that got me that got me screwed over applying for jobs at, you know, Kinko's or whatever. They would let me go after my background check due to that charge. Now, I'm, I'm wondering, is this guy going to uh, get in trouble? I mean, he's, he's 19, he's a year older than I was, and he's doing it with a 16-year-old and got her pregnant. I didn't get anybody pregnant. You know, you look if you go to people.com and you look at all these articles, nowhere does anyone even ask that question. You know, and, and, and I it ruined my life. It ruined my life just to have this little, you know, and, and these girls were both, you know, like uh, they were like classmates of mine, you know. And so and it, and the only reason I got charged is because dad was a cop. But I'm sure it happens to people all the time, and it screws up their life, you know, as far as, uh, you know, getting a corporate job. You know, you're not going to get hired if you have some kind of, even if it's misdemeanor, some kind of sexual thing on there. Good points, Dan. Maybe you should have knocked up somebody or should have had sex with somebody famous. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Hey, you know, as we always say on this program, this is a telephone talk show. And anybody can call in. They're giving a first name and we have no way of knowing if it's their real name. They say they're calling from a particular city, but we can't check that either. And uh, everything they say on the phone, we can't verify. Sometimes people have grudges, and they call up and they say something false just to get back at somebody or just because they think it would be funny. So everything that's called in by a caller is their opinion, and it should be taken with a grain of salt. Everything. And I tell you that before I put K on the air. K on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, How Kay. Doing, Big Daddy. Doing great. Yeah. Um, well, uh, everyone who's worried about their kids seeing Zoe 101 um, won't have to worry about it because the show actually wrapped out a few months ago. My uh, um, uh, husband uh, worked on the show. And, you mean for uh, the season or forever? Forever. Oh. Uh -huh. In fact, do you remember the movie Better Off Dead, that John Cusack movie back yeah, in the 80s? Uh, I do. Big fat guy in it. Yeah. He, he was the producer for the show. And we actually went to the rap party for Zoe 101, and she didn't even have the decency to come to her own rap party for her own show where these people had worked to make her a success, you know, make her have a good life. She didn't even have the decency to come to the rap party. Wow. So... 
you know, just so uh, people know, um, it's done. And I doubt seriously with the advent of uh, her being a pregzilla, pregnoceros now, that they're probably going to not run them in reruns, I would think. But, you know, only time will tell with that. So just wanted to share that with you and the listeners, Tommy, baby. Thank you, Kay. Would you take me out with a bong hit and a thank you, Jesus? I certainly will. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. Now here's another caller again. You never know if the caller is who they say they are, and you never know if what they're saying is true. Remember, when someone calls in, it's a crapshoot. Take it with a grain of salt. Michael. Hey, what's up, Tom? Not much. Man, I'm a I'm a huge fan. Um but on this issue, I'm an entertainment attorney. I get invited to a lot of events, social events. For me it's more business. Um I work on a lot of contracts with pop singers. R&B rappers, but last year I was in New York Fashion Week and I was at a, a club after our spot and Jamie Lynn was there with her sister uh, Lindsay Lohan, uh, Kim Stewart. Uh, she was drinking Red Bull and vodka. Jamie Lynn, 15 years old, mind you, you can't smoke in uh, in public places, but celebrity party VIP. She was smoking cigarettes and I, I turned to my partner and I said, "Wow, this is Jamie Lynn." And she looks a lot older in person than she actually looks on the Zoe show. Um, but that's just to say that she wasn't a virgin. This guy didn't take her virginity. He's not going to do an ounce of time. He's not going to get charged with anything. Mrs. Spears is not going to press any charges. And the, the best thing this is going to do for Jamie Lynn, like you said, Tom, it's going to boost her career 100% because now people that never knew her, they know her. She's gracing people. She's going to be on OK Magazine and all these other ridiculous magazines, and it's really going to boost her career. Um, with her being around her sister who, you know, does nose candy, of course she's going to pick up habits like that. You know, you, you are what you hang around. You know, you said yesterday on your show that your friends are a lot like you. So she's around her sister. She's going to turn up to be, if not worse than just like her sister, unless somebody can help her now because her parents aren't doing a damn thing. Tom. Michael, thank you for that. Again, that's a caller. He's anonymous. He can say anything. Who knows? Susan on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi. Hi. <laughs> well, Here's the thing. Where is this little 16-year-old girl going to get all of her parenting skills from? Brittany? I well, mean, how about how about mom? Mom did such a great job, right? Mom is a little shaky there. I mean, it, it's ridiculous. Why doesn't Brittany... She has enough money. She could just do what Demi Moore did, what Julia Roberts did, get her butt Watch in Watch your life. mouth, dear, on the air. Sorry. <laughs> And maybe, you know, she can get herself together because, I mean, for a mom to have her kids taken away, that I mean, you have to be doing something really horrible to yourself to have your kids taken away. And, and so what now? This little girl is going to do the same thing? One has to wonder. I mean, it's ridiculous. I have a 10-year-old. I can't even... Think of what would happen if she came to me at 16 and told me, oh, mom, I'm pregnant. Trust me, I wouldn't be putting it on the newspapers. It, you know, not, I, it, I'll tell you what, if I had a 16-year-old, she got pregnant, I'd say hit the road, Jack. I mean, obviously the mom seems to be okay with it. Otherwise, she would be filing charges against this guy. I mean, he obviously took advantage of the 16-year-old because, um, okay, so 16-year-olds now are not what they used to be. Well, Kinda then, then the age of consent too. should reflect that. Let's uh, move the age of consent down to 16. Let's move the voting age down to 16. Well, no, I'm not saying that, but obviously you, as parents, we need to keep our eyes a lot more on the kids now than they did back when we were 16. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's all about the parents. And That's what do you think your all... daughter, after Jamie Lynn Spears gets all this attention, what do you think your daughter is going to think? Well, she has asked. She has asked. She has come back and asked me, well, Mom, how old were you when you got pregnant with me? You know, and, and it's she goes into, well, were you married? You know, my dad, all these things. And it's it's kind of hard to explain to them. Well, no, no, she's not married. Well, no, she's really young because she looks at herself going, well, she's only six years older than I am. So your daughter is 10. Yeah. And this is who she watches on TV. 
And unfortunately, this is what you would And how long will it be before your daughter wants to get that same attention Jamie Lynn Spears is getting? Well, unfortunately, I, I mean, I'm hoping, I'm going to do everything I can so that she doesn't go that way. You know, and maybe, you know, you have to think about the fact that it could also be because of the environment they're in and the people they're surrounded by. Which, again... I don't care what the reason is. You know what? If the Jamie Lynn Spears of the world knew they would lose their careers for doing this, they wouldn't be doing it. Absolutely. But it's because that show will continue to air. It's because a lot of parents are going to say, well, what can I do? And they're going to let their kids watch the show. This is what you get. I mean, how can you... I don't think that that Nickelodeon should keep the show on because how can they expect kids to look at now at, at Jamie Lynn on TV going, well... So now she's still pay, you know, playing a girl in school, but she's a mommy. Well, you have to remember, these these are shows for what they call tweens, which are yeah. girls as young as 9 and 10 years old. How long do you think it's going to be before we start seeing a rash of those girls getting pregnant? Well, it's going to be very soon unless we start doing something about it and start, you know, I don't know. Instead of putting people like this in People magazine and, and fawning over them, we should be turning them into the pariahs that they are. Absolutely. Jamie Lynn I... Spears is a little slut, and she's going to have a bastard child, and that's the way it is. Well, and if she's anything like her sister, I probably might end up being two or three. You might be right. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. Tom Likas. As I have said on this program many times, if Helen Keller had a granddaughter who's a 9 or a 10, that's a perfect match. And by the way, honey, by the way, honey if you're out there, ugh, ugh, ugh. <laughs> It's the Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show. From Hollywood at 1-800-5800-TOM. Thank you for tuning in. The sister of Britney Spears, Jamie Lynn Spears, 16 years old, is pregnant. Jim on the Todd Likas Show. Hello. Hey. Hey. Tommy, when I heard the story this morning, I said, I know Likas is going to have this on his show today. I don't know what angle it will take, but I know it's going to be on the show. But Tommy, you're missing out on some of the better aspects of the story. Um, Jamie Lynn and the boyfriend there, do you know where they met? I think I read they met in church. Yeah, they met in church, Tommy. And that, that book that their mom is um, having published, do you know who the publisher is? No. It's one of those Christian publishers that Thomas <laughs> Nelson publishes. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that great? I love that. <laughs> and I'm not sure, but I think the mom was a uh, teenage mother herself. Wouldn't surprise me. Yeah, and you know what, Tommy? The only thing that make this story any better and any funnier... If it turns out that this guy is not the father. <laughs> hey, Tommy, Tommy, one more thing, one more thing. You think Jamie Lynn is going to have Britney babysitting? <laughs> or K-Fan. Old school, buddy. Here you go, baby. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That is our telephone number. <laughs> Jamie Lynn Marie Spears, born April 4th, 1991. I'm looking at uh, Wikipedia. <laughs> oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Look at that. Shortly before Thanksgiving, this is shortly before Thanksgiving, which is less than six weeks ago. Jamie then stated that she had no steady boyfriend. This according to the AP. Isn't that wonderful? And they get by the way, they gave the exclusive to OK magazine. Like did they did OK magazine pay for this? <laughs> Unbelievable. Adriana, you're on the Tom Like his show. Hello. Hello, Tom. How are you? Great. Well, I just wanted to give my opinion. First of all, it is ridiculous that they're going to put her on the front of OK Magazine after she has a baby. She's only going to be 16. So if you're 16, can you get paid a million dollars to show your baby off? I guess so. 
born out of wedlock, the mom's okay with it. So then that means that every other little girl that has a boyfriend for two years is going to be okay to have a baby. I think that is just so ridiculous. And her mom's just, what is she showing? Like, she can't even help one daughter raise two kids. How is she going to help the other daughter raise another kid? No, I think you're right. You see what a great job she did with uh, Brittany. Right. And you know what? If she would, oh, you know, her and Brittany get into a fight, if it would be any uh, anybody else's mom, it wouldn't matter if they were fighting. The mom, the parents would have stepped in and took care of the kids. And that's not happening there. So they're just basically getting paid for a teenage girl to get pregnant. I think you're right about that. I just, that's. That I don't understand, and it's really bad. There's going to be a lot of little girls that watch her show, and they're going to think it's the coolest thing in the world because you can have a Zoe 101 shirt and be pregnant at the same time. Well, I hope your kids enjoy the show. Yeah, well, that's about it, Tom. I'm very upset about that, and I don't understand, but I just wanted to give my opinion. Thank you, Adriana. Okay, bye-bye. Gabby, on the Tom Likas show, hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. How are you? Great. <laughs> I just wanted to call in. I just got off work, and I heard you talking about Spears Girl. And you know what? I, I got off work yesterday, and I went online, and I, I it, that was like the cover story. And I thought, what an idiot this girl is. Why would you think that? Because, number one, she's 16. Number two, she's supposed to be like this role model for... These young girls, you know, she's on that, Nick. I think it's Nickelodeon show. Yeah. That's horrible. I mean, these other girls, I mean, not saying that it, it's never happened. Of course, these things happen all the time. But for these people who are, you know, especially for her, she's, she's supposed to be like this role model for younger girls. And that just, it just, I don't know, I, that kind of blew me away. I think it's blowing everybody away. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you for that, Gabby. Thank you. Can you blow me up? Of course I can. <laughs> Becky on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. How are you? I'm great. <laughs> so how do you feel about this? I don't think 16-year-olds, uh, male or female, should be having babies. Neither do I. And especially to make it public. I mean... I don't... Th by the way, I don't think People Magazine or OK Magazine or Entertainment Tonight or Extra or any of these uh, media outlets should be making this into something positive. No, uh, not at all. Especially considering she has a contract with Nickelodeon and now all those kids are going to be like, oh, Mommy and Daddy, Jamie had sex, so let's go do that. It's stupid. And by the way, if you think about it, You've got this show on Nickelodeon, which is owned by Viacom. Um, what are they going to do with this? You've got uh, Inside Edition, which is a King World show. King World is owned by Viacom. Uh, Entertainment Tonight, owned by Viacom, Paramount. Uh, you've got uh, uh, The Insider, Paramount, Viacom. Uh, are they all going to be doing stories about this? You have to wonder. I mean, do, do, do they think this is a good thing? You know, I'd say no. I'd hope no, especially considering her life. If she was a normal 16-year-old like me, her life would be over. She'd have to drop out of school. She'd have to get a job at McDonald's like the rest of them and try to support her and her kid. Cause you know, By the way, may, maybe all of these shows will, will not do anything about it. Maybe they'll ignore it, which is what they should do. I don't think, I don't think she should get... Rewards for getting pregnant? I think this is going to be the top story on most of these shows. I do. And that's unfortunate. Mm, what can I say? It's frustrating. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Matt on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hey. Hey, I was calling in. I, I just... I, I just think that everybody is so irresponsible in the media. I mean, people go out of their way or newsstands go out of their way to put a big black cover over the front of a Maxim magazine and things of that nature. And with all the single parents and these girls that really 
have nobody to look after them and they seek attention, then who's on the cover of people and okay getting attention? Jamie Lynn Spears, right? Yes. And, and it's just, you know, when, when Paul Rubens gets caught somewhere in 1980, what's the first thing that happens to him? He's dropped off the radar for something that what? Who did he hurt? Right. And, and it, it's, I, I don't know, I just, you, you get tired of it because... That's what girls are looking up to. I mean, they obviously watch the show or else it wouldn't have made it into season number two, right? Yes. And it, you know, it's, I don't know. That's all I was calling in just to kind of rant and rave about that, Tom, because I think it's just irresponsible and all they're going to do is eat it up and stick her on every magazine and, like you said, give her a reality show if that's what she wants and so on and so forth. And all it comes down to is the fact that it sends a message out to every girl out there that – it's okay and it's acceptable and you'll be exactly what you want to be. You'll have all the attention in the world. Yep. Corey on the Tom yep. Likas show. Hello. How you doing? Great. Hey, I want to say long time listener, first time call. And I think this Jamie Lynn getting pregnant, this is just to follow her sister's footsteps in the public eye. I'm thinking, you know, this is something that's crazy. I mean, 16 years old, my kids are 10 and 13 and watch Nickelodeon constantly. And do I want my daughter following in her a, a, a little role model footsteps like that? I mean, my kids were in the high school musical when the girl got caught with naked photos. They fired her. They dropped her like a hot pan. And, I mean, with this girl, Jamie Lynn, now, is she going to get fired from Nickelodeon for getting pregnant? Good question. I mean, you know, something like that should, I mean, it, it's not a good role model for kids that are 8, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15 years old. However, the age group of kids that watch the show, and uh, I think, you know, there's, there's a public eye that kids could look up to, and that's not one of them, like her sister. I mean, she. I think it's just a big publicity stunt to get more money, more recognition, and uh, I think they should drop her off Nickelodeon because how many kids are going to want their kids watching a kid that's 16 years old and pregnant and think it's okay? Uh, I think you're right. I mean, something like that. I mean, I remember being a kid when my sister went on her first date, but that was when phone calls were 10 cents. I remember to this day, I mean, I'm 42, and I remember my dad saying, I want this dime between your knees. I don't want you to have any sex. I mean, he says, I want this dime between your knees while you're on this date. And when you come home, I want the head of the president and the leaves on the other side embossed on your knees. I mean, so what is that giving these kids today, that it's okay to have sex? Oh, they, we've gone well, beyond. We've gone. Sex. We've gone beyond having sex. It's okay to get knocked up. Yeah, it sure does seem that way. I mean, my daughter's ten, and I'll be damned if I would let her go out at that age and have some. Especially with a church kid. What kind of church is this? <laughs> I'll tell you what. I'll get on my knees in that church any day. Yeah. But. Uh, uh, that, that's pretty much about it, Tom. I love your show. I listen to it every day while I'm uh, driving home from work. Um, there's a lot of views that I can agree on and some that are barely negotiable, you know, that I kind of like, hey, you know, some people, they make those mistakes in life, but I think your show is awesome. Keep up the good work. Thank you, Corey. I mean, what's next for Nickelodeon? Is SpongeBob going to knock somebody up? <laughs> Seriously. By the way, that SpongeBob is an awfully gay show. You notice there's very few females on it? Just a lot of guys and that homo SpongeBob. Not there's anything wrong with that. And who would he knock up if he was going to knock anybody up? <laughs> anyway, our email address, it's my name. It's Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. Have you got that? Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. Or you can hear our show streaming live Monday through Friday from 3 to 8 p.m. Pacific time. Just go to BlowMeUpTom.com. Click on the Listen Live button and you'll be listening live. The Tom Likas Show.